When I came back from Italy, um, I was studying in Rome, so after my diploma, I came back to Beirut and I started um, painting myself uh, in a room in the mirrors. I was not looking for my physical form, I was more looking for um, my, to know myself more more deeply so this is why i was do doing so many self portraits and then after i i finished that period i i noticed that uh, there was some bed sheets on on my bed that were not uh, um there or they were all like that i didn't make I didn't make my bed, you know, the, in the morning. So I thought, wow, this is very interesting. It's uh, the, f the shapes and the forms and the white background behind them was absolutely what I was looking for. So the white period for me was um, very essential because I was very interested um, about space that are space around us and interior space interior inside of us the silence that is inside of us even when I was uh, in um, Rome when I was a student I, w I started to paint the shapes that are um, how can I say uh, the, sp the shape of the space between the objects we think about space as being nothing it's uh, just empty you know but in reality, it's part of uh, our silence inside of us. And without that silence inside of us, it's only uh, noise. It's only noise and it's, um, we get lost in all this noise. So it's our concentration and it is our uh, intuition. It's very, very important and always been very important in my work. I was coloring the space white, which is not a color. Exactly like space is uh, intangible. So white is intangible also. It's very, it's extremely mysterious color because you don't know if it is life, you don't know if it is death. It's just white and it can be scary also but it can be also very soothing because it's, as I said, it's silence. It's uh, our real self, that silence. So uh, I painted do those uh, bed sheets and they were sometimes very dramatic because I was trying to be, it was a purification uh, for me. Uh, these sheets became more and more uh, purer and purer, uh, less, uh, let's say, tragic. And then these figures appeared from, from, from them, they came out. And uh, I started in that time also uh, being very conscious about verticality and horizontality. The sheets were very horizontal and there was like a burden on me because in that time I was listening to what is happening in the Middle East and in Africa and in the Latin America. I was feeling that burden. And then this vertical shape start appearing uh, as if now I am on my feet. I'm not going to let myself go down with this burden. So there, even if I have many period of work, body of work um, during let's say 50 years of uh, art, uh, it, they look sometimes different, but there is this one thread that goes on in all the work, um, space and vertical and horizontality. In the beginning of the war, I went out from my room <laughs> and um, exploring myself and I started exploring outside my room. I started exploring the streets of Beirut. And uh, because now 
uh, really I knew for sure that me and people are the same, exactly the same. So uh, painting other people is like painting myself or, or painting, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, we are all one, if you want. And uh, so when the war started, my interior war was almost finished. And the war was out outside of me raging. So I went uh, one day, I decided to go to a hospital to draw, make some sketches of the wounded uh, people. Usually I'm attracted uh, to difficult places uh, where the human suffering is the most. So to, to be close to it, to, to be with, uh, with it, with that pain. Prior to the war series that I did, I never used photography. I just sketched and I just drew, drew from real life, you know. But I started using uh, for the war series uh, photos because I wanted them to be really, really realistic. And sometimes I wanted them to feel like photos. The news, uh, what is happening, uh, and the painting uh, have a connection. Uh, so, uh, yes, it's, uh, it's like that, to be objective if you want. And at the same time, also, just to pose different realities together. Because uh, Lebanon is not only one reality, it has so many facets, so many, it's like, and then I wanted them, I wanted my paintings to be the same way. Um, things that uh, sometimes people feel that they have no connection to each other, but I was seeing connection between things. Uh, of course, all this was, uh, I was coming from intuition and not really uh, thinking one and one makes two or something like that. Um, I was letting my inner um, intuition work when I was doing it. I did uh, the whole series about the war during the whole period of the war. It was the streets of Beirut. So uh, one of the paintings that is the, the La Fête Rose uh, it's my skin on the road. The road is my skin. Because I was feeling that all the bombs that were coming down, it was as if they were really hurting my, my own skin. So, um, as I said, I was like, uh, like all of us, we were feeling Beirut being us, very connected to, to Beirut. Um, during war periods, war times you connect even more with people and with uh, your environment everything becomes yourself so also i just put in the same painting these decorations of um, holidays so it is uh, this just uh, just a position of uh, decorations with which which are usually joyous with this huge uh, tragedy that was happening. So um, it was in the same painting. I have two paintings of this same subject. One of them is more colorful, more, more warm, if you want. The colors are cold, very cold, because it, uh, when uh, you are frightened, sometimes the fear is very, feels very cold. So it was cold fear in this work. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, as you as you can see, uh, people are uh, very like uh, un have anxiety in this work, and the pavement it goes slides down as if their feet are not really on the pavement, but it, they are floating. The floating part is very important part also about my work. I was talking about vertical, horizontal, and I was talking about. Uh, also um, space, 
but flo the floating is also constant in my work. In this painting, the Rezakad, there is two, two people in this, in there. So one of them is uh, somebody that I noticed in a coffee shop, and I asked my sister to quickly take a photo of him without him noticing, because I really liked the way he was sitting and talking. And then uh, there is a portrait of uh, uh, Walid Jumblad there, but in reality, it's not Walid Jumblad that I was painting. It was the way he was walking and the way the, way the photo is that attracted me. In this work also, there is some, some shapes floating in space. And there is uh, this uh, arcades, arcades that are the environment. There is oneness between environment and people. Uh, it is their environment. But at the same time, they are detached also from their environment. And uh, there are also, there is oneness between people, but there is also individuality. It's like the same with uh, the environment. There is oneness and at the same time, detachment. I like to say also that sometimes I explain my work and um, but don't take it uh, really for granted because I try to explain my work but it doesn't mean that I understand my work so um, I'm just guessing what I meant when I was painting. Um, when I started doing the T-shapes uh, there was no more environment because maybe uh, the environment was not, attra I was not used to the Los Angeles environment. It was not my city. It was not when I was born. So the environment wa is, was gone. <laughs> and maybe, maybe it is the reason. Or, or because I wanted to focus on horizontality and verticality and people. So for me, the vertical man is centered. He, he is more in uh, contact with his own self, his intuition, etc., his interior life. And the one floating for me is somebody who is not. He, he just floats in life. It's somebody who reacts to events without really thinking about them. Just reacting and reacting and continuing like this in his life. And so it's, it is horizontality for me. And most of the people are like that. Uh, we are like that. I mean, uh, all of us. So we try to be vertical. Um, this is uh, my, this is what I did for many paintings. Uh, I express that in my work. The horizontal man is, is trying to enter the circle to finally become centered. So, because when you enter the circle, it's the same as entering your own, uh, I mean, finding your center. So many of them has this circle and man, like a little bit bent like that, entering the circle. Sometimes this turning round and round, it's very positive and it's uh, finding your center. But sometimes also, some of the paintings, it's not. In some of the paintings, it's being lost in this circle of life. Even now, uh, what is, I am a Buddhist nun and Buddhism is peaceful and it's uh, totally, uh, People imagine that the Buddhist nun is always uh, doesn't care, doesn't mind, is not paying attention what is happening in the world because it's uh, it's not true. I I feel that uh, um, that whatever is happening, like now, it's a very difficult situation, very tragic. No, I'm not going to say tragic, but very difficult situation, crazy situation in the world. I know, even tragic, extremely tragic, actually. Uh, it, uh, it helps me to go even deeper, 
uh, toward uh, purification and spirituality. I, it fits very much my work. And like all of us, mm -hmm. because suffering changed people. Um, in sometimes in better, sometimes in worse, but uh, change people. The title of my work um, don't, uh, doesn't mean anything because I just open a book and put my, my finger somewhere and whatever it is, it is. <laughs> sometimes it's very funny with the painting and I keep it because I think it's really good. I never had difficulties being a female because actually uh, my personality is the kind of personality that doesn't care about what people think. I do whatever I want to do. I'm not paying any, but any attention of people's uh, opinion. My personal life, work, uh, choices in life, and becoming also a Buddhist nun. Mm, uh, I do always what is right for me because it comes from my intuition. My very, very, very deep intuition telling me this is right. So how can you say it's not right? That's it. <laughs>